I've got one for you today guys. <laughs> I've got an ice fishing tent on this beautiful sunny day. I think uh, spring is starting to uh, arrive at the moment. It has been raining non-stop, don't get me wrong, and it will be raining again next week, but beautiful day. So I thought I'd get out up here at this beautiful spot and try out an ice fishing tent. Now I'm not going to be doing any ice fishing anytime soon. Um, it's a pop-up tent of sorts and I thought it looked interesting so uh, I got it really good value for money as well. Well, value I guess is to be determined. So let's get it up. It should take minutes. She's a long boy. There is instructions in there, but let's see what we can figure out. <laughs> I believe what I've done here is pop the top, so it's probably a case of doing these sides now. That was pretty quick and easy. Well, stand up all the way around in here right up to the edges which is very nice different from a dome or a teepee and other than the fact it's extremely long it's not that heavy so uh, quite like it so far so good I can see daylight through the seams hmm like here 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 strange for a brand new tent that looks like they've repaired it with like seam sealant and you can still see daylight coming through a spot there Look at that, that's not really holes, it's like threadbare material. <laughs> I don't think it's raining tonight. Well, I hope not. Get it into position. Ooh, twisty ones. So these are screwing pegs for the ice, I would guess. Should have uh, tie-up points, yep, on the corners under the snow skirt. Let's see how these go in. Well, they can push in, actually. <laughs> There's also guy ropes, but uh, I don't think I'm going to use them. In fact, I haven't got any extra pegs with me, although there usually is some in the truck. <laughs> um, can get breezy up here, but right now seems fine, so I'm going to go with it. <laughs> so we just need no rain and no wind. There's no tie-offs on the doors, but I'm guessing... Yeah, pretty handy. Got with me a bit of a ground sheet and uh, a one tigress bed, which is had quite a lot of use this winter. I've got my bed and I've got my table. How am I staying warm tonight? Well, other than the sleeping bag, I have actually got a paraffin or kerosene heater. So I have never used it. <laughs> so we'll see how that's going to go. These windows, the PVC does come off, does open up. I was thinking about doing, bringing a wood stove. But I thought, let's try something different. Looks like the ants are starting to become active.
This thing is massive and it is going to sit on the floor. Um, it's got the wick in there already, I did check. So pretty much just got to fill it up a bit later. Um, and yeah, get it going. I'm hoping to cook on it. The top does come off, but uh, I'm hoping it's a bit like a hot plate. We'll see. There we go, it's got its own little table. Okay, I'm gonna do this now so I don't have to keep all the bits out. But this should suck the fuel and blow it in. Seems to be working. There is also a funnel. So I release this valve on the top. Once well, that all prepped, that's going to seep into the wick slowly. Um, you're supposed to prime things like that about an hour before you're going to use them. So I've got plenty of time. Just look at all the daylight coming through all the holes and gaps and seams. <laughs> I don't know if that just doesn't matter with these because you use them in the snow, not the rain. And it's going to be cold, so it's probably not going to melt on it. I don't know if you would normally heat one of these. I doubt it. But, um... It'll do me tonight. If it does rain, I think it'll only be light. Like it didn't stop yesterday. It was heavy and it was pretty wet coming in here. Just hasn't stopped raining since September. <laughs> mm. Gotta love the uh, flex tail pumps. Can mount my lantern here. It's not a specific point, but we have got these bars. It's chilled down a bit now that the uh, sun's gone away. So I'm gonna get the fire pit out. Well, that's pretty much me set up really, just like the sleeping bag and stuff to get out and then I'll be doing the food stuff, but uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, other than the fact that this is listed as durable and waterproof, and I can see that it ain't. <laughs> it was only £80 for what it is, not a bad price, but uh, you know, I do this and maybe you won't waste your money if you're looking for something like this that was waterproof. Um, interesting though. It's definitely spacious and I can put my bed right near the wall and not worry about condensation from like a like a dome or a teepee tent. Just looking for a few sticks. Get this fire going later. It's nice that I've got all my firewood with me. No axing and chopping and sawing. Just noticed a vent on the top here. All right, I've tilted this bit and got the wick up there. So, just get that lit. Something's happening in there. I think you're supposed to rotate this a bit to get sort of an evenness. I don't know. Maybe that's just for getting the whole of the wick going. It feels like it's already getting warm, so I'm going to give this a go.
can feel the warmth off of that already actually can't hear much going on with the kettle but uh, even if it boils slow it's going to be fine um, I was thinking about tonight I should have brought a carbon monoxide alarm because I've never used this before um, but I'll just keep the window open good ventilation while I'm using it and I won't use it when I'm asleep <laughs> it'll go off um, might even put it outside before I go to bed we have boil Oh, that didn't actually take too long to boil. Now it's getting to kind of that sort of six o'clock time. I can just about hear a road in that direction, just because there's no foliage on the trees. We're quite far from the road, but uh, we're up on a big hill, and yeah, the sound does travel when the wind is right. And I was looking at these windows, thinking well, there's no way they're watertight. They've got Velcro around the uh, PVC, and um, the thing that closes them is on the inside. There's, <laughs> there's no way that's watertight either. The mug's a small hint about what I'll be enjoying later tonight. <laughs> Little free gift. Mm hmm. Aha. get this going so we can enjoy a bit of a campfire out here before going into the tent and doing dinner it's uh, gonna be quite cold tonight think about freezing about zero degrees which is coldest it's kind of been lately I think just because it's been so wet and rainy I guess Okay, time for a By the Horns Brewing Co beer. Uh, Hopadelic, good name, I like a bit of Funkadelic. It's a session IPA and it has citrus, or well, citra um, hops in it, which is good. And South London, South London. Mm. This is up my street. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a session. What is it? 4.3%. I could drink a few of these. I've got three with me tonight, so I'm not overdoing it. But yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Have to check out their other stuff. I can't really feel the heat off this fire as of yet. <laughs> Build it up a bit. Got um, taquitos for dinner tonight. I had them earlier in the week and yeah, I've got a bit of a taste for them at the moment. <laughs> They're gonna come out better than they did last time I tried when I had to make um, tacos instead because of the really dry tortillas I had. Got corn tortillas this time. No, I've got flour tortillas. I had corn tortillas last time. 
But yeah, that's what I'll be doing inside the tent. Not too long, let this burn down. And uh, here it is, that's a slightly odd tent. I do like these pop-up ones and I can see developments in this area because um, they're a little bit heavier and usually, you know, their shortest length is one of their poppable lengths so they usually pack in longer uh, bags but um, I can see potential there as they develop further just to be able to pop up a tent is <laughs> so much easier um, pretty rigid as well and very taut but um, I think I've got one more weird tent video this kind of thing I've been on this winter I didn't want to just be sat in hot tents normal hot tents all winter I wanted to do something a little bit different and it's been fun trying out some weird tents and shelters and making stuff all that uh, but yeah we're going to be moving into spring very very soon as today indicated <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be doing some building soonish some shelter building and stuff and um, yeah not any kind of proper solid plans um, some work has been delayed on the truck which I wanted to take on a trip so we see if that still happens because um, I don't want to go height of summer to this particular place uh, it's gonna be buggy as hell <laughs> but um, yeah we'll still get out in the truck got a uh, gonna be trying a roof tent like a different one and um, yeah lots of different things should be meeting up with Simon in the early summer so that's something to look forward to after his break yes Simon is taking a break if you saw his last video you should know that a couple of people have asked about that he's taking a short break and um, he will be back in videos again I believe in the late spring me back in the tent uh, heater is lit just taking a minute to kind of get going I think um, I'm gonna start cooking dinner straight away really I'm gonna get a pot on there and I'm gonna boil up a chicken breast um, just so I can pull it just to make the sauce and stuff for the taquitos <sighs> oh cold it's getting cold <laughs> so I've got a chicken breast in the pot there gonna cover it with enough water bring that to the boil for 15 to 20 minutes ish just make sure it's cooked through ready for pulling the doors on this really hard to uh, zip up it's uh, not because of how I've pegged it out or anything it's just the tension is under with these uh, poles bent out if you kind of grab the pole and bend it in a bit not enough that it snaps back to its original position you can kind of do it a bit better but uh not ideal. I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, I like, you know, the space, the fact that it's, you can stand up all the way around. You got, um, yeah, it's, it's nice in all them ways and quick to put up, but just needs a better material. Mind you, I spent 80 quid on it. There probably is a better one. <laughs> I saw it and thought it might be interesting. Going to be doing a bit of a basic kind of guacamole here. So first off, cut this. Feels very ripe. <laughs> Avocado. Oh no, that's perfect for what we're doing. Don't know where I put my spoon, but let's grab this and this. the end bit there. Let's cut down some tomatoes. Whole table's moving here. <laughs> Didn't level that very well, did I? I'm just going to cut these down. Some garlic. A 
bit of coriander or cilantro, whatever you wish to call it. So we've got lime going in there. One more. And some seasoning. And that just needs to be crushed up and mixed up a bit. Pop your uncle. Just popped outside and you can see every star in the sky out there. It's beautiful. Um, not much of a moon at the moment though. Probably new moon looking at it. The chicken is not quite boiling. It is hot. This um, stove thing doesn't seem as hot as it was earlier. We'll see how we go because we've got some frying to do later. Um, I've run out of beer so I need to get another one. But I kind of want it with dinner so we'll see. Just going to start pulling this, sort of shredding it. Right, I'm going to start the sauce off with some onion, some pepper, we'll fry them off. And we've got some tomatoes, garlic, um, what else we got? Some chipotle paste as well. And we'll uh, just cook that down into a sauce to mix with the chicken. Some onion. And some pepper. A bit more of both. Oh, that's cooking away. I was thinking, actually quite warm in here. Take the jacket and the hat off. But uh, yeah, my onion and pepper's cooking away. Put a garlic in in a second, some seasoning, some tomato, and some chipotle. And then we should be ready to roll. There's our tomato. And some chipotle. And a bit more. <laughs> and a little bit more. One of these small pots of uh, cream cheese to mix in here. It's going to give us a nice creamy tomato chipotle sauce. Just added some seasoning and then we go back in with the chicken and take it off the heat. Get it all mixed in. Got my tortillas, I've got my flour glue, and uh, here goes. It's just a little bit hot actually, but never mind. Let's see how we go. Came that wrong way round. <laughs> no, I haven't. What am I doing? Is that enough? I think so. So we'll roll that. Add in a bit of our glue, put that aside, and do number two. Might be a little bit saucy, never mind. It's always harder making a smaller portion of something. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it's hot enough. It seems to be. Just not level. <laughs> I've just taken the lid off here, see if I can get some more heat on the pan for frying. It was doing okay, but could be better. That's more like it. Taquitos. Looking a bit rosy, aren't I? Look at them. Oh, <laughs> they're good. And my guac. Right, what side just came off and what side didn't? Let's dip it in the guac. 
。ほ。うん。Crunchy, creamy, spicy. The kiddos. Hot. <laughs> I've just had another two taquitos, so that's six with the guacamole, and they were lovely, really nice. Um, got a hot chocolate to have in a bit as well, but I'm going to chill out for a while. It is a lovely temperature in here. I mean, this thing, it's doing really well on fuel. I think it's a little below full now, but yeah, seems to be really good. You don't have that fun of, you know, fiddling with it and adding wood as you would a um, wood stove, but um, pretty convenient just leaving it. And cooked on it all right, taking that cover off, got a little more heat to the pan for frying. Really like it. It was just off Amazon. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a galaxy hot chocolate today. It's been a nice evening in here. I've just been chilling out for a while, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have this and probably go to bed. But uh, it has been nice in here. It's just a shame that if it was raining, it would probably be a catastrophe. <laughs> but uh, I am liking this tent heater. Just set it and forget it. It's quite nice. It's uh, about three quarters full of um, paraffin still obviously not keeping it on overnight and um, probably not going to be fun trying to empty it but <laughs> we'll find out in the morning and uh, that's when I'll see you next good night Good morning. It's uh, very foggy outside <laughs> and um, very wet inside actually. The condensation inside is pretty bad and outside it's quite wet from the fog settling on it as well. Um, windows very misty also. But I uh, slept well. I was quite comfortable in here last night. Um, I think even just from the body heat and stuff it was it warmed up in here after a while because it did get pretty cold like after I turned the stove off um, but yeah it was wasn't too bad um, got the stove on now starting to feel it <laughs> and uh, I suppose I'll get out my thermals get dressed and uh, think about some breakfast One good thing about this heater is completely silent, which is nice compared to like a gas one. I mean, even a uh, wood burning one does make some noises, usually quite nice noises, but you get pings and things. It's nice. Get this thing out of the way, keeps sliding off. Got my breakfast bits, and I'm sure it's getting foggier out there. 
that is thicker than it was just a little while ago. <laughs> Got uh, chorizo and eggs and uh, some bread as well which I was going to toast with like butter but I've only got oil so <laughs> let's see how we do. My little table here is surprisingly very messy so I've got just a, a piece of chorizo here I'm going to take off the skin which is not particularly nice not on the cured ones and Down the middle, down the middle again, and just slice it up into small chunks. Right on with the pan, and just a uh, a little bit of oil just for toasting the bread. I've got two slices but I think I'm just going to use the one. I took off the lid, get a bit of extra heat in there for toasting. While that's toasting I'll uh, crack a couple of eggs into my mug. Mm -hmm. And we'll just give them a bit of a mix. I'm going to go in with the chorizo here. And I'm just going to give it a little of oil to start it off and stop it burning straight away before its own oils come out. doesn't take long just until its own oils are kind of coming out and then we can add in the eggs and the beautiful thing here is uh, how orange the eggs go with all that chorizo oil I love it and here we have it extremely quick breakfast very tasty Bob's your uncle. Beautiful breakfast this. Better if you put in a little bit of butter as well. <laughs> nice and creamy then, but uh, very good. Um, yeah, get this down me. Might have a cuppa. It is <clears throat> drying a little in here with the heat. It was unavoidable really, that heat and the moisture in the ground but uh, it's what it is. Let's see what it thinks this thing's like to uh, take down. Should be easy. Turn this off because it takes a little while to burn itself out. You can't kind of blow it out. We are almost halfway between empty and half. Not bad. Hot. <laughs> Taking the mat off the bed while I was waiting for the kettle to boil. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take long to pack away, to be honest. The sun is coming up. It's beautiful and it's uh, burning off that fog. So I'm starting to see some blue skies now as well. Ah, oh, very nice to camp and not be in the rain. 
I love the sound of rain on the tarp or tent, but uh, there's been a hell of a lot of it recently. <laughs> so it's been nice. It was just so peaceful last night. Once the owls calmed down, it was just, you could hear a pin drop. Hoping the same thing kind of works in reverse here. May have to tilt the uh, heater a bit. So far, so good. Don't really want leaking paraffin in my truck. Tent is all empty now. It's time to uh, take it down. I'm not too worried about it being dry or not because I think we're going to return it. Like, if I buy something that's silly, for a video and it is as advertised i'm happy about that but this just is i know i haven't given it much of a rain test but i know it's not waterproof <laughs> so see how it goes down dryish spot <laughs> well there we go wasn't too hard at all to be honest um, mainly because it just folds and then fits in the bag um, I think I'm gonna make tracks now thank you guys for watching don't buy this tent <laughs> and I'll see you next time goodbye No!